Hi everyone, my name is Gerardo and in this video I will talk about my experience as a Pythonista creating my first Julia package for modeling probabilistic k-nearest neighbors. Let's get started. K-nearest neighbors, or KNN, is one of the simplest and well-known machine learning algorithms in the literature. Given a dataset T and a value k, a classification KNN algorithm assigns an unclassified data point the most common class among its k closest neighbors. To choose k, one usually relies on techniques such as cross-validation, which can be computationally expensive, and only chooses one model across all the trained models. Also, the KNN model does not provide a measurement of uncertainty among the test data points. So a couple of months ago, I came across a paper by Holmes and Adams that proposed a probabilistic version of the KNN model. Without getting too much into the math, the main idea is that instead of having to choose among possible KNN configurations, we can do a weighted average over possible models to determine the probability of a data point belonging to one class or the other. An advantage of this model is that the predictive surface is much smoother and we obtain a predictive probability distribution. So, having read about this model, I wanted to implement it and give it a try in some other different dataset. Being mostly a Python programmer, I decided to give it a try in Python, and it was straightforward. The problem began when I decided to modify the model or test the model in some other dataset. The time to run the code became prohibitively slow, and I was not able to quickly iterate over different configurations or datasets. So, having heard a lot about Julia, I decided to give it a try. To my surprise, it was painless, and actually quite fun, to convert my existing Python code to Julia code. Of course, I have could have used the JIT Python compiler, but the use of those libraries required me to modify my existing Python code way more than returning my Python code to Julia. Also, as I was programming the Julia version of the code, I learned about the threads macro and some of the user libraries such as the einsum.jl package, which in some occasions made the code easier to read. Having converted my code to Julia, it was time to test it, and I was amazed by the results. The Python version of the code took about 400 seconds to run. The transition from Python to Julia made it 65% faster. And finally, adding the threads macro made it 80% faster, and I only had to change a single line of code. Even better was the fact that Julia is not only fast for computation, but also for graphing. So instead of waiting for a single run in Python, I was able to run the code multiple times and plot a wonderful animation. The takeaway is that being a Python programmer and transitioning to Julia is relatively easy. If you know Python, you know enough Julia to start making useful code. So I hope you find this talk useful. And if you want to reach me, this is where to do it to GitHub or Twitter. Happy coding!